Well, yeah, here we are. Thank you for the coffee. I appreciate it. Cheers. Yeah, I'm treaty guy. Ah. So what did you think about your first trip to the old woman mill? Well, I thought it was very um, mind-opening. Let's see. Where's the best light at here? Oh, there we go. All right, we are downtown Cleveland this morning. The first picture is in the bag. Here it is. I'm down here with my buddy Ron Durant, and we're going to do a little walking around today uh, looking for odd things of interest. So I hope you'll tag along. Now, it may be a little hard for me to, like, point at stuff today. Let me pull this down just a little bit because I've got my camera tucked underneath my arm but I just got a little picture here of this where's it at this area right here because I liked the design of the white stone going up the angle coming back down over the air conditioner and the window being boarded up and so that's the kind of stuff that sort of appeals to me geometric shapes old dilapidated things and you're gonna see a lot of that today probably like I said I've got Ron here and we're just kind of wandering around and finding what looks interesting to us it's not always the same thing for him as it is for me but we're just having a good time while we were wandering around outside Ron and I happened upon uh, Dr. Ron Coleman who is actually the owner of the building and we had a nice chat with him and he invited us to come in to an area that they're just working on and kind of walk around. And so here we are. And uh, I'm just gonna kind of do a quick video here before I even bother to take any pictures. He was telling us about these doors. These are the original fire doors. So they're, they're metal and they have these clips here that would have been attached to this string and come up over this pulley over here with a weight and so these are actually rated to uh, a certain melting point so if there was ever a fire in here these would melt and it would cause this weight to fall and as a result this door then would shut because it's on a you see it's on an angle there's another one over here the same way um, just absolutely amazing kind of architectural work this is all original hardwood floors in here they're working on all of the beams and structural things uh, dr coleman mentioned that they are doing everything they can while they are remodeling here to keep the original as much as possible and so um, they will reuse things throughout the building uh, they they've reconstructed a few but for the most part it's all reuse and the original part of the building that was first opened up has been sold so he's working on this part now to open this up there are stores below us in fact there's a coffee shop i'm going to go to next and then they're going to make this a bank of offices and stores i think and then the area right above us will be apartments and I'm just, I've always been, a, I've always been a big fan of the old woolen mill being reconstructed. And it was an honor to get to meet Dr. Coleman for the first time. So he's just doing remarkable work here. Ron, what do you think about this? This is amazing. Man, I am I'm glad we came here today and was able to meet uh, Dr. Cole and he let us in here. This is, I can't believe it. It's amazing. I've never seen anything like it my whole life. Me either. Uh, this, was, this was a dream come true for me to be able to come inside. Yeah, yeah. It's too bad we're not properly equipped to do it. <laughs> we couldn't use a tripod in these low light situations. Yeah, a tripod would have been nice, yes. Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> just make do. We've got windowsills. We can set up our windowsills. That's true. That's true. After meeting up with Dr. Coleman again just a minute ago, he was telling us about this uh, little stage up here. This used to be a railroad spur that came in here to deliver coal and uh, pick up some of the woolen products. And, and he and his son just pulled in scrap pieces of metal from all over the place to build this stage. So let me show it to you real quick. The handrails have floor drains on the top. And then there are the stairs up here. I'm gonna to try to get up these stairs without tripping and dropping my camera. And then there is the stage area where they just put in, again, all different kinds of things for the hand railing. This was a large uh, stack that they've cut to put into this sort of cover. They call it the castaway because everything here has been cast away. Nice play on words. And it has the opportunity to be sort of a, if I can get my camera to come all the way around here, to be a nice place for concerts and those kinds of things. Ron found a little space down here where the door was propped open just a little bit. Dr. Coleman says that uh, the door has been damaged. He's waiting on somebody to come uh, look at it. We've been taking some pictures inside. There is a nice reflection on the floor from a puddle. Um, <laughs> Dr. Coleman said at first he thought we might be the people here working on it. That's why he came down here. Then he thought we might be a couple of homeless guys going for a place to spend the night. <laughs> so he finally realized it was us. But uh, man, there's just so much to photograph and see here. It's unbelievable. So what did you think about your first trip to the old woolen mill? Well, I thought it was very um, mind-opening, photographically. There's a lot here. I'll just spend two or three different days yeah, here. Yeah, it's too. Uh, you know, it's nice of Dr. Cole to be uh, receptive to pictures. And I didn't notice you were calling him Dr. Cole. His name was Coleman. Oh, I think it said Cole. He did for his, e for his Gmail address. He abbreviated it. Oh, okay. <laughs> is, is, is his first name Ron? Yeah. Okay. So he thought I said Roger. Oh. No, he thought he said my name was Roger. Oh. But I didn't correct it. I just, I just slipped a <laughs> So, So early on in the video, we met, we met, we met Dr. Coleman. Uh, yeah, he called me Roger. He thought I said Roger. So that's okay. I can be Roger today. I want to say he was a surgeon, but I... I I don't remember that, to be honest with you. I said, I said, I said, Coleman. Yeah. Well, we are sitting here in a coffee shop, which is part of the newly renovated area. That's that the old bowling mill. It's kind of really, really nice. It's a, it's a nice little place. Yeah. So my wife, she's been picking things up for this company a lot called Hemu. He, oh, yeah. And, yeah. Camping the so I get a, we get a package in the mail yesterday, and uh, in the package was uh, some stuff. But she comes out with this coffee thing. It's a sifter, a sifter type thing. It's got steel yeah. inside, and it's got ears. You pull out and lay it over your coffee cup. Okay. And then you put a scoop of coffee in there, heat your water, pour it in there. Kind of like a press, but yeah, press. Yeah. So she got it because when we was at the store last week, I picked up some Iska coffee. Which I use for Kessel Island. That's all I do when I camp. Yeah, yeah, I know. But now that I got a camping trailer, I, now that I got a camping trailer, I may be able to make real coffee. But uh, anyway, we have gone to totally decaf morning and night. So yeah, it was rough the first couple of weeks. Well, yeah, I was like, you know, somebody told me, but I just signed even coffee, you know. This was brown water. That's yeah. Right. But anyway, it's. Um, uh, I decided to try this this sifter thing out, where we call it. It was in the kitchen last night. She put a, a half a scoop in there, and I heated the water on the stove at the in the kettle, and I poured it in there, and I tasted it, and I thought, oh, I think maybe we could do a full scoop. It should probably, because if the water goes to it quicker, yeah, that would be if it's a paper filter. Yeah, sure. But when they got done drinking the coffee, 
or m most of it, I went to throw it in the sink, and all the black junk they came out of the bottom of the cup. <laughs> I was like, I don't think this is going to work. Yeah, well, now you should go back and look at the video I did of my camping setup for coffee because I got a little spring loaded deal down his little, little pouch and it will spring up to you like a D shape. You put a filter in. So that will help hold all that, but it'll, it'll, it just clamps down. So that a Stanley product? <clears throat> no, that wasn't Stanley. Most of the stuff in the video was Stanley. I did replace, I had a Stanley cup that I was boiling the water in. Didn't quite fit on my, uh, on my stove. Just, I was praying it was going to fall over. So I bought a new cup that's got little rooms in the bottom of it to seal it in a nice. I so watched that video, man. I did, uh, of course, you know, coffee, coffee for me on uh, camping is, like I said, it's instant, but it's more like one. Up the next evening. Sure. And then maybe that's, that's one in the evening, evening and that's it. I'm yeah. not drinking a whole pot of coffee or camping. I'm just waking up and going. Yeah. One cup is enough. Yeah. So I can, I mean, I know com coffee kind of sort of. Well, yeah. You can. Yeah. What I, 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 I did a video a long time ago on my <laughs> photography channel that I, I talked about the fact that it's more important to me than actually taking the pictures, going out for. Waterfall photography, especially. There is this nim this moment that comes in setting the tripod up and, and getting the camera on more, looking through the team finder or looking for a shot. That is a ritual of taking the fiction of It's just as important when you use actual sound and put coffee's like that for a man's widow. Well. That's, why, that's why I went with Tim Rats, and that they had me and Ryan. Doing sort of a Kimax thing, don't make a panty, is there is a rich mark to me to develop in this calm in bed. This just as it would work in me, frankly. But no, I did. Is, I don't spend that much time. That much time. I think my rich will come with ice cream. <laughs> All right, well, I know we sort of had it in mind to walk around downtown Cleveland this morning. I think we'd walk down all of the walk around where the yeah. Owen Hills. Yeah. It's an entire shot itself. So, so I'm to head up to uh, Ben Hall. I'm ready for there. <laughs> yeah.